We talked briefly about manipulation of chain of additions and subtractions before. Here we'll talk about it in more detail. Actually, we have two ways for handling the expression. First, if the first term is positive, add an addition sign before it. How if it's negative? In that case, change the sign to subtraction. Okay? Now every number has operation before it, so group each pair together. Then we can rearrange the group as we please. Let's use this one. Next, we combine the groups two at a time, any two groups. For example, let's combine these two. Now we don't do the operation on the left, it's just showing the sign of the first number, addition positive, subtraction negative. The operation that we do is the one between the two numbers. So let's proceed. The result is positive, so we add addition sign before it. Then we combine these two, see that the first number is negative. And since the result is negative, we write it as subtraction. Lastly, we do the same thing to the results and we get the answer. There is a loser but faster way to do that. Let's consider the same expression. Here we just need to treat the subtractions and numbers following them as units. We can forget the addition for a while and rearrange the units and the other numbers. But after that, we reintroduce additions between numbers where there is no subtraction. Then we can perform the operations between two adjacent numbers like these two. And, as in the first method, if there is subtraction before the first number, then the first number is negative. Also, if the result is negative, we write it as subtraction. So we proceed and we get the answer. The thing is that all the groupings are supposed to happen only in our head or scrap paper. When it comes to writing answers on exam or homework, we shouldn't write the groups. And if you use the first method, also erase any addition that we insert on the leftmost part of the expressions. That's it. Thank you very much for watching.